Good morning and welcome to ComSpark. We're here live from Columbus, Ohio. My name is Mimi Shalosh and I'm with Quest Software. I'm really excited to be here today. We are with Christine Snow, the Network Director of Witty, and Chelsea Akers, the Director of Marketing and PR. Welcome ladies. Hi, thank you. Super exciting. So essentially we want to kick off by talking about what are some of the biggest challenges you've had to overcome as a woman, specifically in IT and as it relates to business. Uh, so for me personally, I came into this industry right out of college and I feel like confidence was a big one that I struggled with. Um, being young, being a woman, feeling like I didn't really belong in this industry. Um, and yeah, just kind of being unsure of myself and unsure what I could really bring to the table, feeling like I didn't, I didn't know enough to talk to anyone about it or, or sound knowledgeable. Um, and yeah, I think being a part of groups like Witty um, and working with other awesome networking groups in the city have helped me really build that up, but that was definitely my biggest challenge. Absolutely. I think a lot of women struggle with that, like the imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. not knowing if you deserve to be where you're at or if people are going to take you seriously and trying to figure out like if they can rise to the occasion of everybody else in the industry. Absolutely. So on that topic, what advice would you give to a woman out there who's battling similar obstacles or challenges, whether they want to start their own network or they're just looking to engage within their organization? Um, I mean, for women, I would say just to kind of band together with other women and figure out what is available in your city. I know specifically in Columbus, we have a ton of opportunity to get together with other women, find mentors, network, kind of garner your career path in the way you want to go. So my biggest advice for any woman in the industry would just be to be open and put yourself out there and figure out what's available to you. Yeah, I would absolutely do research on, on what's open in the community. And that's not just for Columbus, uh, but anywhere. And I, I know that the larger organizations sometimes have internal employee resource groups um, for women or, or other kind of minority groups that you can get involved with. But outside of that, you know, non-company specific groups are out here too and we have a ton of them in Columbus and I know that other cities have them too. So I would just do research on what's available and yeah, like Christine Our city's said, the best. Yeah, Columbus. like yeah, the Columbus best. definitely has the most and the best. When um, I lived in LA too, I just got on Meetup because there's so many amazing groups out there and that's yeah. actually how I got involved in Witty in the first place was that I found them on a Meetup group and went to a couple of their events and loved it and that was how I got really integrated in the city. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that, Christine, because I know that you were the founder of the Columbus Network um, and just by attending many of the events, I know that there's a huge turnout with men. What advice do you have for men that are looking to engage with women in their companies whether they're, they want to start an ERG um, to help expand their network. Can you speak to that a bit? I mean, I think that the biggest thing that men do, even ones who say that they're advocates for women, is that they still look at us as how differently. They treat us differently. And that's the biggest advice I would have is treat any woman in your organization or anywhere exactly the same as you would treat any men, just with respect and as your equal. Um, and then attending the events, like you said, we see a lot of men that come to our witty events. And I think that's a great start to kind of hear where we're coming from and where we're struggling and try to help us. Yeah, I think on unconscious bias, any um, kind of self-awareness work they can do in that space to just be aware of any biases that they might have um, toward women is a really good place to start. You can't really address it if you're not aware of it. Yeah, we did a panel recently on unconscious bias and so many men in the audience contacted me after and they're like, oh my God, I didn't even realize yeah. that you guys felt this way or I was doing this and didn't even know that I was doing it. So absolutely. Yeah, just like simple things like in meetings, uh, being able to have closed door meetings with men and not with women and yeah, little things. So how would you say that being involved with Witty and starting this network has impacted you professionally and personally? So it really helped me build my confidence, going back to that first question on what you struggled with. Um, when I kind of started my career, I was very heads down and just kind of go to work, do my job, go home, don't really like engage with anyone in my company or in the community outside of that. 
Um, and when I joined the Witty Board here in Columbus, I was really forced <laughs> to not live that way anymore. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's been great. I have met so many other awesome women and men in the community who um, really appreciate what we're doing. And I have, I feel like I'm much more engaged with all the companies in Columbus. And I just, I understand what's going on in the community. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, and it's an interesting point that you make because it also ties with, so that was the foundation. So what's the vision for the future of work and kind of workplace culture as it relates, not just to confidence building of those participating, but of those attending as well? I mean, I think it's the future of what we're all fighting for, Witty and all these other groups um, for any underserved community is just equality. So mm -hmm. nobody has to go to work and feel like they're underrepresented. Mm -hmm. People go to work and they see people that think like them and look like them and have a different understanding, but we're all kind of working towards the same end goal and it's not about who you are. Yeah. And what, what are those goals? I mean, I think it, it depends on the company. So. Yeah. When I talk about us all working towards the same end goals in the future, I'm just talking about the company as a whole. What are they trying to produce? What is it a social mission? Is it a product? And then goals as far as witty would be just trying to have women feel equally represented in the workplace and equal pay for equal work. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> awesome. And so I guess tell us about some exciting initiatives that both of you have for the future. So we actually just co-founded a new company. Um, it's Level DNI Solutions, and it is a diversity and inclusion focused company. Um, we are taking a lot of what we learned from Witty and what we learned in our kind of day jobs and filling gaps in the community. So um, in talking about what the future looks like for Columbus and for all of these companies that we work with, um, it's helping people find diverse candidates, um, get them in the door and then keep them. So not just, you know, checking a box that we have 10% minority candidates, but really making them feel like they belong there. Um, really just, yeah, making them, making them feel at home. Yeah, we're really trying to fight that uh, diversity versus inclusion. Yeah. So I think that everybody, uh, at least everybody in HR knows at this point, they have to have a diverse slate of employees. Uh, that's important. They're going to kind of get checked on that. That's where Absolutely. we are in the world. But I think where a lot of companies miss the mark is the inclusion piece. So you can get diverse candidates in the door, but how do you retain those people? How do you make them feel like they belong? So we're really trying through a lot of different solutions and offerings. We're trying to help companies kind of get to that point where it's friendly for everybody. That's great. So where can our audience learn more about Level DNI? They can check out leveldi.com. We just launched our website last week and we have a lot of our services and offerings there. Thank you so much, ladies. For more information, please check out comspark.tech. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks.